Hey guys, how's it going? It's Vicious here. It's time for us to do a new episode of Let's Play Secret of Mana 2. As you can see, we are exactly where we left off on the ghost ship. We got least possessed, and I've got I'm down to just two characters. So while we're navigating through the ghost ship, I'll tell you about my day. I've had a bad day today. First thing I noticed is when I loaded the game that I didn't save it the last time I played. Um, I must have just quit the game. I think because I, if I remember correctly, the kids were coming and I was kind of in a hurry. So I quit the game and I didn't save it. So I had to actually play all the way back to this point in the game uh, just to start recording again. And then what I did was I just got done beating the boss of this area, Gorva, and uh, I realized I did the whole episode without recording it. <laughs> but what's funny is that's actually only the tip of the iceberg for today because uh, I had to work like a 19 hour shift yesterday and I was so, oh my god, tired that I went to bed at like 7 o'clock and woke up at 2 a.m. And threw off my sleep schedule so to help get me going today because I was like so like zombified I decided to go for a mountain bike ride normally I uh, put my bike on my truck and drive out to the nature trails and go biking out uh, in nature you know cross-country stuff but today you know I'm doing laundry I got casting to do I'm getting ready for tonight's Borderlands games so I just you know decided to take my bike out and bike around the, the neighborhood and around the golf course it's not too far away Went out there and I did like an hour around the golf course and on my way back um, I'm on the far right side of the road on the actual white line of the street as far over as you can get Some dude in a white van passes me so close that he almost clipped my handlebars and could have killed me And I was pretty upset, you know, you get kind of upset when someone almost kills you So I actually kicked his car as he was passing me by and it's kind of a common thing you do <laughs> This one tries to kill you by passing you that close so as you do, he, he rages and like actually literally starts chasing me around in his car. I so I had this like 45 minute game of cat and mouse where he was trying to literally run me over and kill me. And I'm like on my bike, running around, like cutting through people's driveways and yards, trying to be tactical so he can't actually get me run over and he's like taunting me, he's like, Why don't you come out in the road, man? See what I do, I'm gonna run your ass over. I was just like, oh god. Nice little adrenaline rush. You know, probably most people would have freaked out. I was actually laughing about it because, I don't know, maybe because I'm crazy. But I was in the Marines, and most Marines are probably crazy anyways, so... I got a little extra exercise running away from a psycho today. And I think maybe that's what threw me off my game and why I was doing stuff like not recording and all that. But I'm in high spirits and I'm alive, so... We're good. And I'm actually recording now. I'm checking this. And everything is well in the world. Oh, did I... If you don't follow my other Let's Plays, you wouldn't know that I got the G930, that wireless headset that I wanted. And, uh... I just got done milling that back today, because... I was so disappointed with uh, the quality of the microphone, it was worse than my cheapest microphone. My $5 clip-on sounded better than the G930, which is like a hundred and something dollar headset. So that kind of sucked, and um, back to using my old microphone again, which is a great microphone. I just wanted a headset for casting, it'd be easier sometimes. Well, time for story. Welcome to my ship of wandering spirits. Gah, you! Break curse, let us go. There is only one way out. Gorva up here. How did I know that? Maybe because I just killed you. He wasn't too difficult, um, but he took a while to kill. He has a lot of life and I don't do a whole lot of damage to him. I try to be honorable and like cast some magic on him and then melee him with Kevin a little bit, you know, and split it up. And not just magic spam. But I'm just gonna magic spam this time. I'm not gonna do the uh, honorable fight. He's not honorable anyways. He keeps floating up in the air or I can't hit him. So 
So Angela is actually pretty good for this fight because he doesn't do any attacks. He just does magic and she has really high magic resistance. The only unfortunate thing is Holy Ball being light magic instead of dark magic is based off of your spirit stat and not your intelligence stat. And I've never raised my spirit and that's why my Holy Ball damage just sucks bad. I can almost do just as much damage with my other spells. Still not really a fan of the element where I can, if I'm casting a spell, I can't change characters or do anything until the spell is done casting. So that really is inefficient. evil looking boss. He reminds me of one of the enemies from Neon Genesis with the red eye and the way his head is shaped. Looks like one of the angels. Which I said that not too long ago when I was playing Sanctum, because the enemies in that game look like it too. Speaking of Sanctum, I should probably try to record some episodes of that today as well. I haven't done that one in a couple of weeks. Ugh, but I don't think it has a big following. Like, if I stop playing Secret of Mana for a week, someone will say something. I haven't played Sanctum in two weeks and no one's even bothered to say, Oh, you need new episodes. So, probably no one's really watching that. But it's still a good game and I do like it, so I should try to finish it off. This is the point where last episode, or last recording, or I wasn't recording and it wasn't episode. Last time I played this guy, when I wasn't recording it, I said, oh, I'm out of magic, I'll go ahead and finish him off by hand, and this is where I started fighting him. But we'll go ahead and use the magic wall and then just cast this one out. If we can get by without healing, they can both survive another attack. Just so you guys know, since I know I'm thinking about it, I don't think I can talk about it. The if you're bike riding on a if you're the rider of the bike, you have responsibility to follow all the laws of the road. You're basically a car. You gotta stop at red lights, you gotta yield, you gotta do everything as if you were in a car. But if you're the person driving the car, the reverse is true. You have to respect somebody on a bike as if they were a car. That means don't pass when it's not safe to pass. Uh, if you do pass, you're supposed to give them a berth of, let's say, the three or four feet. You know, so, uh, just in case you didn't know that. Now you do. Be respectful. Share the road. You should be dying soon. Maybe we'll finish this off by hand. If he comes down here, that is. So I know he's almost dead, and I don't feel like wasting all those items. Crap. It's probably like one cast of 
totally fall away. Alright, here we go. So that's it. There he is, he's dead. Die, Gorva! Victory! Look at that, we get a new spirit! You have released my soul from captivity! Now, allow me to return the favor. Obtain the power of shade! Thanks everyone, I'm back to normal! Please joined. That's weird, you get the dark magic this early. If shade is here, then the mana stone of darkness is on the ship as well? No, that stone is lost. It doesn't exist anymore. Centuries ago, people used the mana stones as a source of power to live in peace. Then, war erupted, and the seal on the mana stone of darkness was released. Then the god beast of darkness? Yes. It wandered across the land, from country to country, like a dark plague. Subverting the peaceful energy of the other mana stones, using them as instruments of death. The Priest of Light told the same story. Oh, that was these. Bleah. The world had never seen such a catastrophe. Civilization fell. Countries, countless lives were lost. The mana stone of darkness has never existed since. I've spent my days on this ghost ship. Whatever happened to the god beast of darkness then? Why wasn't the world destroyed? Difficult to say. One day the god beast simply vanished. Perhaps it left somewhere, satisfied that its job was done. Perhaps it exists on another world somewhere, in the form of another mana stone. Perhaps it is planning another disaster for this world, nobody knows. Maybe it's responsible for the recent loss of mana. But why? My soul was released. The ship will soon disappear. Oh no! That could be bad news. But of course, we are close to land. Are we not? Something's going on. We've got a volcano. Oh, looks like we shipwrecked. Mm, uh, where am I? Oh no! This is Buka Island. That volcano sounds like it's about to erupt. What are we going to do? Volcano Island of Buka. Wow, talk about bad luck, man. You're on a ghost ship and have your spirit possessed, and now you land up on a volcanic island that's about to erupt. What kind of adventure is in store for our heroes next? I don't know, but you guys will have to stay tuned and watch in the next episode. This is Vicious, signing off.